Hello Android users and welcome to the 2013 guide of how to install Flash on your Android device. You don't need to be rooted to do this. First off, open up your notifications and go to settings. This can be a pull down menu from the top and a little gearbox. Once there, find your way to security and look for unknown sources allow installation of non-market apps. Once there, check this and a warning message will pop up and let you know you're vulnerable to attack like this. Don't install malicious things, know what you're installing. You can unselect this later if you like. On a Galaxy 2 Note, there will be a pull down menu from the top. Go to settings, look for security, and find the unknown sources. Once we have this selected, we're ready to install Flash. Look in the description of this video and you'll find a full guide to installing Flash and it'll be step by step in case you've missed anything here. You'll need to select your version of Android and download the appropriate version of Flash for that. Here at the top we have Android 4.0 and above devices, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, and newer devices. And below we have the older Android 2.2 plus devices, gingerbread and up. So if you don't know what version of Android you're currently running, go back to your notifications, settings, and go down to the very bottom. There'll be about tablet or about phone. Here you can see what version of Android you're running. I'm running Android ice cream sandwich, 4.0.4. Now that we know what version we're running, we can download the appropriate one for us. You can use whatever browser you like to complete it. And it's just a small download. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either download it directly to your device like this, and it'll end up in a download folder by default. The other way would be to download it to your PC and transfer it to your device using the USB cable. I'll show you both methods here. If you've downloaded it onto the device, it'll show up in the notifications. You can select it here to install it. I already have it installed. It lets me know, but I'm going to install right over it, like so. And it's just a quick little installation like that. Now, if we downloaded this to our PC, we can get a free program to let us explore our device and find it. I'd recommend the ES File Explorer. You can download this for free from the Google Play Store. Once you've got it, just open it up and it'll allow you to navigate your device. If you've just opened up your internal storage when you plugged in the USB, it'll be in this folder. Or if you downloaded it and you're looking for it there on the device, it'll be in the download folder by default. And you'll simply find it, locate it, and install it like we just did. Very easy. Now that we have Flash installed, we'll have to use Flash. Now to use Flash, we'll need a web browser that supports Flash. Now, here's three great free ones to try. There's the Skyfire 4.0. Make sure it's the 4.0 you get because the 5.0 doesn't support Flash. The Firefox and the Firefox beta browser and the Dolphin browser. Now this is where a root would come in handy. The Dolphin browser doesn't work correctly unless you have a rooted device, but it's my favorite browser to use. So if you have a rooted device, you may want to get the Dolphin browser. Everything will just look a little different and there's a lot of personal preference involved. So you can try all three of these. If one doesn't work for you, you can try the next. Here's my how to run Fallout 1 and 2 on Android video and it's running in Flash. So it just kind of gives you a little example of what the Dolphin browser looks like. You can try it out. It supports Flash. It runs it. You can move around. Everything works like normal. Now, if you don't have a rooted device or the Dolphin browser is not for you, Firefox is a great alternative, a very popular browser. This is what it'll look like once you have Flash installed and you're using the Firefox browser. I'm just going to load up my How to Install Sign Engine Mod 10 on the HP touchpad thread over at Roots Wiki, and you'll have to click it to activate the plugin, which is the Flash player. You just downloaded it. You'll click, it'll load it up. So this is 
another great option. It's a little bit of a different interface. A lot of personal preference. One doesn't work, try the next. There we go. Fantastic. And the Skyfire 4.0 browser also supports Flash. Oops, stopped working there. You can find it in the description. But another great browser to try out. So try out all of them or one of them. See what works best for you and what you find preferable. And you'll have to click it again to activate the plugin. Hello, Fallout fans. And there's Flash on Skyfire 4.0. If you want to learn how to play Fallout 1 and 2 on Android, check the description for links to my threads and videos. And there you have it, a choice of browsers. This is how to get Flash onto your Android device. Just like this, I have it on my Galaxy Note 2. And everything runs great. Show you there. Very similar. Here's the Firefox browser. And it'll be exactly the same where you'll click it to activate the plugin. Please subscribe to see the latest Android videos and like the video so more people will hear about it and check it out themselves. There you have it. Definitive guide how to install Flash on your Android device. Thanks for watching, everyone.